Today, I'm going to discuss about the topic activity diagram. What is activity diagram? Activity diagram is a diagram that helps to visualize a certain use case at a more detailed level. It illustrates the flow of activities through a system. It can also be used to depict a flow of events in a business process. Moreover, it can be used to examine business processes in order to identify its flow and requirements. It will be more easier for you to create and understand activity diagram if you're familiar with creating flowchart. Activity diagram is somewhat similar to flowchart. It has seven basic symbols. The first one is the start or initial state, which is used to represent the starting point of any activity and also known as the entry state. The second one is the action or activity state. It is a step in which the users or software performs a certain task. It represents an action that is going to take place at the stage of the software system, generally depicted with a rounded edge rectangle. The next one is the control flow. It connects the two state or two actions to depict the flow. It shows the sequence of execution and also known as paths. One action state can have multiple control flows input and also output to another action state. A single-headed arrow is used to depict the control flow. Decision box, a conditional or a decisional node where there are multiple options available or there are two or more conditions which can be considered at the point of the software system. The next one is the fork. A point from where two concurrent or parallel processes are executed or run or processed. It generally includes a single input but may or may not get one output. The next one is the merge. It represents two inputs that merge into one output. In merging, there is more than one input but only one output is obtained. And lastly, the final state symbol. This is where the activity ends. To be able to create an activity diagram, one must understand the flow of the proposed system or business process. Hence, it is essential to review the use cases you created. There are steps in creating activity diagram. The first step is identify the action steps from the use case. In this step, you need to identify the various activities and actions your business process or system is made up of. The next step is to identify the actors involved. If you already have figured out who the actors are, then it's easier to discern each action they are responsible for. The next step is to identify the flow among activities. Figure out in which order the actions are processed. Mark down the conditions that have to be met in order to carry out certain processes, which actions occur at the same time and whether you need to add any branches in the diagram. Then, identify which actions have to be completed first before proceeding to the next one. And lastly, add swim lanes. Swim lanes are partitions used to represent a group of actions carried out by a single user. It is easier to read who performs specific actions in the system or business flow. I hope you have learned something for today's discussion. Thank you!